Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at blockchain technology. What it is and how it works. Let's get into it. Blockchain is a system of recording data in a way that makes it impossible to change, hack or mislead the system. Blockchain is a revolutionary technology that helps to reduce risk, ends fraud and brings transparency in many fields. At its most basic level, a simple understanding of blockchain technology is a Google Doc. When we create a document and share it with a group of people, the document is distributed instead of copied. This establishes a decentralized distribution chain that allows everyone to access the document at the same time. No one is locked out, awaiting modifications from another group while all changes to the doc are being recorded in real time making alterations fully transparent blockchain is more complex than google doc technically it's a digital ledger of transactions that is shared and distributed across the whole computer network blockchain is based on a decentralized database that is managed by multiple participants known as distributed ledger technology dlt records the transactions with an unchangeable cryptographic signature called a hash algorithm that makes the data recorded on a blockchain unable to be changed tempered or modified this mechanism makes the blockchain a legitimate pioneer for industries such as payments healthcare cyber security and cryptocurrency now what are the properties of distributed ledger technology blockchain is programmable using smart contract for example if buyer and seller don't know each other and there is a trust issue smart contract enables secure payment between them when goods are delivered money automatically goes into the seller account identity of the participants can be either anonymous or pseudonymous all the network members agree to validate each of the records transaction timestamp recorded on the block any validated records are immutable and cannot be changed all the network members get a copy of the ledger for complete transparency all the records are individually encrypted no one can access them blockchain is best known for its significant role in cryptocurrency networks such as bitcoin and ethereum for maintaining a secure and decentralized record of transactions the good thing about blockchain is that it guarantees the safety of data and makes it possible to transfer money online without a middleman like a bank or credit card company normally when you send money from one place to another you go to bank bank does the transaction on behalf of you and charges some fees while in a blockchain case you are your own bank you don't need a middleman to send money and also you can save a bank fee almost all cryptocurrencies including bitcoin ethereum bitcoin cash and litecoin are secured via blockchain networks this means their accuracy is constantly being verified by a large number of computing power due to the cryptographic nature of these networks payments via blockchain are more secure than regular debit or credit card transactions when making a bitcoin payment for instance you don't need to provide any sensitive information that means there is almost zero risk of losing private information pretty safe and secure let's go more deeper into the blockchain i'm pretty sure you are well familiar with a typical database that stores data into tables whereas a blockchain like its name suggests structures its data into blocks that are joined together each block in the chain has three parts data hash and the hash of the previous block data that is stored inside a block depends on the type of blockchain means what kind of a blockchain is being used for example bitcoin ethereum litecoin etc let's just say bitcoin blockchain then it stores the details of transactions such as who is the sender who is the receiver and what's the amount second part is a hash 
it can be compared to a fingerprint or a unique identifier that identifies the block and its content hash is always unique and different just like a digital fingerprint once a block is created in the blockchain its hash is calculated automatically if you change data inside the block it also changes the hash of the block if the hash of the block is changed it doesn't remain the same block third component of the block is hash of the previous block it creates a chain of blocks this technique makes the blockchain more secure safe and powerful let's say we have a chain of three blocks as you can see each block has a hash and the hash of the previous block block number one is called a genesis or the beginning block because it's the first one there is no block before this one now let's just imagine you try to play with the second block this will change the hash of the block as well block 3 and all the following blocks will become invalid because they no longer hold the valid hash of the previous block this will create problem in the blockchain person who did this will be identified immediately after the hash there is something else that keeps blockchain protected from hackers called a proof of work which is used to prevent the creation of a new block in bitcoin case it takes 10 minutes to calculate the required proof of work to add a new block in the chain in those 10 minutes computer solve the complex algorithms first computer that solves the algorithm shares the solution with other computers on the network then every computer on the network verifies proof of work if it gets verified block will be added to the chain all right i hope you had no issue until now understanding the blockchain there are couple of more things left that are worth mentioning as i mentioned blockchain is distributed it uses peer-to-peer -peer networks to manage the chain of blocks and everyone in the network is allowed to participate when someone joins the network gets a full copy of the blockchain devices use this to verify that everything is in the right place for example when a new transaction happens on the blockchain each block of that transaction goes to everyone on the network for verification devices are people who perform verification are called miners they don't do mining for free they get a reward for their participation in the form of bitcoins all devices in the blockchain network create consensus or you can call it a voting system where all devices agree to decide which blocks are real or fake blocks that are fake invalid or changed will be rejected by other devices in the network this mechanism makes it very hard to hack attack crack or even add a temper block in the blockchain and if you want to play with one block or even add a temper block in the blockchain you will need to recalculate the proof of work for all the following blocks and take control of more than 50 percent of the entire network only then your tempered block will be approved and accepted by everyone in the network this is almost impossible to do because there are millions of blocks on the blockchain now the question is where do we use it blockchain is being used in medical research healthcare records supply chain voting system tax collecting and much more closing thought on the blockchain is the whole point of using a blockchain is to allow people who don't trust each other to share sensitive information in a secure and tamper proof method all right so this was all about blockchain thanks for watching please subscribe